What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com In the last Dynasty video we took on Vanderbilt and it was a massacre to say the least and not in a good way. We got absolutely thumped. Nothing went right. We had way too many turnovers. Anything that could go wrong did. Really no different than the Kansas game. So we're seeing a pattern where we are upsetting really good teams, getting thrashed by a team that's equal to our talent and doing the same thing over again upsetting a really good team and getting thumped by a team of equal talent well now today we're going to take on number 13 miami so who knows what's going to happen but hopefully we can play better than what we did against vanderbilt now miami runs a pro style offense 4-3 defense of course they have more talent than we do and you can tell by their stats they are playing really good ball right now the only thing they're not doing well is the turnover differential but ours is probably the very bottom of the list so we'll see what happens. But before we take on the Hurricanes, let's check out some things. In season recruiting, I would imagine that loss did not help things. But here is right tackle Philip Warren. He is ready to take a visit. We're going to have him come as soon as possible. We'll just have him come for the Georgia Tech game. We don't know what he likes yet. Next up, we got free safety Rob Harper. We're still number one on his list, thankfully. But we're slowly figuring out what he doesn't like so we can use process of elimination to get pretty close unless he tells us what he likes by the time he comes and visits. Middle linebacker Sean Harris, we are number two on this list. We got a positive pitch. As long as we can stay in the top three, get him to come and visit, I think we're gonna be okay there. And last but not least, center Colby Lacey. We're still number one on his list and we're still slowly figuring out what he doesn't like at least. So again, we will use process of elimination to figure out what he is interested in so technically that loss didn't really hurt us all that much which is a good thing now let's go to sports illustrated top 25 polls there's really nothing to see here we will never touch this the same with heisman watch we can check it but we will never have anybody on here this season you go to players of the week i'm guarantee you guaranteeing we will not have anybody on this list but national players of the week quarterback out of Florida international had a really good game outside linebacker out of Troy had a good game, and in the conference, halfback out of uh, Virginia Tech played pretty well. Then a middle linebacker out of Boston College had himself a pretty good game. Let's go to conference standings. Now, we are still technically undefeated in the conference. The two losses we have were against non-conference teams. So we are technically in good shape, but we need to actually win some more games. But we did beat Virginia. We're going to take on Miami today. Let's check out our team info screen so our starting center will be back next week but schneider drummer elliott that's staying pretty consistent so far and it looks like the defensive side is staying the same as well white is leading both in tackles and in sacks and we have marshall with one interception i think he's still the only one with one so far now let's go to miami and they got two guys out they their starting quarterback is out today. That's going to help, don't get me wrong, but I think they got a backup, Brock Berlin, if I'm not mistaken, who's just as talented, so that's not going to be a drop-off for them. But we'll check that out here in a minute. They got a guard out. We'll see if he's a starter or not. Running, receiving, I'm not seeing a whole lot there. Uh, Defensive-wise, tackles and sacks is by the same guy leading that one. And looks like they got one guy with just one interception. Okay, I have seen everything that I want to see, so let's go ahead and take on the Hurricanes. We will simulate the week and see if we have anybody in trouble. We do not, and what I want to do is we could do, this is our going to be our default home uniform. Every now and then, more often than not, we'll just say, I like using that as the default home, but we can use this as the way just to break it up a little bit. So let's go with that, and let's jump into the game. Looks like we have a pretty day in Miami. I have a good track record against this team over the years. Don't know if that's going to stay the same today, but we'll see. No harsh wind, and that's going to help as well. And there are the conference standings in the Coastal. We are technically tied for number for first place in the division. and the once great Miami Hurricanes. Now, Mario Cristobal, I think he has a chance to turn them back into a true national power again. 
So who are they going to highlight? Looks like they're highlighting a running back. We'll see if he's an impact guy or not. And I'm assuming they are going to pick Miami, and they are. So let's go to the coin toss. They won it, and they will get the ball first, which is fine by me. Let's check out their roster. So their starting quarterback is out, but again, their backup is about as good, and he can run a little bit, so we're not going to blitz much. I can see him just running away from it. So this isn't Brock Berlin. I, I think it may be a few years ahead of Brock Berlin. I think he already graduated by then. But anyway, Kirby Freeman's going to be your starting quarterback today. Running back, 89 overall, 89 speed. At least he's not an impact guy, but I'm assuming they're going to run him quite a bit today. Fullback, arguably the best one in the country. Quadrine Hill, which is an amazing name. Then you got wide receivers, 89, 84, 87, 86. Tight end, Greg Olson, impact guy. Then his backup, Buck Ortega, another amazing name. They got quite a bit of talent at tight end. These are the guys I'm going to try to go after just in terms of the type of tight end that I want in my offense. Eventually, my tight ends are going to get the ball. It's just a matter of, you know, finding a way to get to them and getting a little bit better talent in. Left tackle, 97 overall. Then you got 89. This guy's out for the day, so that's a bit of a drop-off for them. Then you got center at 78 and 86 and then 87. So a pretty decent offensive line. Defensive ends, 87 and 90 on the edge. Not bad. Then impact, 94 overall defensive tackle with 92 behind him and then 85, 76. A really good talent right there. Outside linebacker, the 93 impact guy, Rocky McIntosh. Another, just a great name. They know how to pick him, that's for sure. Middle linebacker is 87, then right outside linebacker at 84. So their linebacking crew is pretty strong. Corners, 92, and then 78. Then why this kid isn't starting, I'm sure he's going to be on the field quite a bit today. But they got a really good group of corners. Free safety, 86 overall, 90 speed. Then a strong safety, 91 overall, 92 speed. So they got good talent everywhere on defense. Not a, much of a weakness to be found. You look at kicker, 87 overall. Punter, 88 overall. Special teams, really strong. And if I'm not mistaken, I just saw Devin Hester's name. Yay. Okay, let's get this show on the road. We don't have any impact guys on the back end, so I'm going to kick it like normal. Hopefully we don't give up any returns today. And number four, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend, the guy who should be in the Hall of Fame. Devin Hester. Looks like that's a flag. That may be a clipping. And it is. We will accept that. I am going to go cover two man. We'll go right here. I probably need to expect passing more than running just because of the tight end. We're going to play action. Overthrew it, thankfully. He was open. Let's go nickel man. I always forget our nickel situation's a little bit better than our 4-3. We're going to leave it everything as is. Good open field tackle. Almost got the first down. So it's third and one, roughly. Third and two. We'll go goal line. Well, technically I'm going 4-3, but they are going to go goal line. Do something like this. Play action. I had to go over and make the tackle. Good play to the tight end. So they know who their best player is, and they're feeding him the rock as best they can. Let's go quarters. Let's take a chance and see if they're going to pass again. We'll do an over front. Run. Counter. Good stop, but he gets a solid five yards. Let's do man this time. They may go right back to the run. Again, I'm just kind of guessing which one they're going to go with. We need to get a stop somehow. Counter. Almost got the first down, so I'm assuming they're going to go back to goal line. I normally, I still like to stay in cover two in this situation. Play action again. Oh, wide open. 
That was a good move right there. So how did he get wide open? He's the wide receiver over there. He just destroys my corner. Amazing separation. So what formation are they using? I twin tight end. Okay. Play action. Just curious. You always want to notice how certain receivers get wide open on certain plays. And take a mental note of those plays. Play action again. Wide open to the fullback. Another first down. So they're killing us on the play action. Unfortunately, we're just not good enough up front to get a stop there, get a sack of some sort. This quarterback seems like he's got plenty of time to throw. Play action again. Oh, there he's going to run it. Another solid six yards. So they're just gaining five, six yards at a time. That's a rare occurrence seeing a quarterback run to his left. Of course, he was going, he was rolling to his left off the play action. Him being a righty quarterback. There he goes. Another first down. Again, I'm not going to blitz that dude. He'll just run even quicker in those situations. I'm going to stay in man. I can see him running it here. At this point, I don't, looks like it's not going to matter. They seem to determine the score on this drive. Unless we get lucky. Another pass play. Ooh, mm, great defense by Tally, if I'm not mistaken. Second and ten. They're going with the big set. I'm going to stay in man. I think they're going to run here. Fullback dive. Good tackle. So it's third and goal, I guess. Third and eight. We're going to go cloud. Hopefully we can get a stop here. I'm going to do something like this. We're going to spy our defensive end on the right. So we're only going to send eight. Intercept that. Intercept it. Great defense. We're going to force a field goal. Good for the defense. Great stop. Almost intercepted. We'll take that any day of the week. So it's up to our offense to help out our defense a little bit by moving the ball, getting a touchdown, points of some sort. So look at the, they took off almost three minutes off the clock, a 13 play drive. But in the end, we kept them out of the end zone. Let's get the ball for the first time, see if we can produce something, anything. Oop, nope, nothing there. We're on the left hash. Let's go with... We'll do ace normal. Let's go with... Let's do a dive. This may be a mistake. I forgot they got a impact defensive tackle. And they got that linebacker there, so this may not work at all. We'll go to the left. Nope, fumble. Nope, very lucky on that one. And we got a player hurt right out of the gate. Don't even know who it is. Let's do a toss play. I'm going to run clock. Might as well. They're going man. I'm actually going to run to the left. I'm going to leave it as is. Let that clock run as best as we can. Perfect defense, just nothing there. Though it's third and forever. I'm not going to throw an interception. I don't think it's worth it. I'm just going to eat it, and we're just going to run the ball. Third and 16, I don't trust our offense to convert that. So we'll do something like this. Now look at that. If we can somehow just block at least a little bit on the right side, I want to run to the right, mainly because of all that grass we get to work with. Everybody got and the brother got pushed back, so we're not going to get a first down here. So we'll just punt it. We can go to the pass game some on the next drive. Do something like this. Again, I'm going to just let this clock roll. Check out my co my coach on the right there. I don't know what he's doing. He 
a decent punt, but he's got all day to run. Somebody get a stop. Somebody get a stop. Somebody get a stop. Fumble it. Somebody get it. Oh, man. We could have used that. He got his head rocked. So back to defense we go. We'll do something like this. Play action again. Another first down by Fumble. Somebody get it. Huge. Man, there we go. Can we take advantage of it? So we're on the left hash. Uh, let me think. Let's go. Let's go P.E. Reed. We're going man of the blitzing everybody. So we are going to... And he can't hear that, but that's okay. I'm still going to go to him. Oh, they... They switched up. Nope, now they're going back to cover zero. Ah, oh, can he get under it? Nope. Just a bad throw. Not a good throw at all. So with second and ten, what I want to do is do tight end delay. They're going zone. We'll do something like this. Gives us a third and manageable. Third and five. I'm going to do P. Reed again. This time from gun normal. We're going man 4 3. The clock is not going, so. First down. Just enough. Just get the yards we need. They went cover once. I wasn't going to go over the top. Okay. Let's go back to the run game. We're going zone. I'd like to run this one, to be honest. Ah, they're spreading out. We're going to let that clock roll. Okay, end of the first quarter. We're down a field goal, but we're driving. So let's go back to the play we selected. Halfback slam. They're going zone, and their two best players are on that side, but they're shifting that way. So this ain't going to work, probably. <laughs> and decent blocking. Decent blocking. We'll take it. Get a first down there. Let's put in our fullback right there. Let's run another dive. There's not a whole lot from this formation that works all that well. But I'm, I'm using it occasionally. Since we're going zone, do something like this. The clock is stopped. Let's bring our fullback over. Nope, nothing there. Right guard got demolished. So we're on the right hash. We can try... Halfback mid attack. They're going man. They're going cover one at least. If they, if they, yeah, I'm gonna go to L if they go cover zero, of course. We're gonna let this clock roll a little bit. Unfortunately, oh, cover zero. Make a play, Elliot. Ah, huge six points. Man, we needed that. So we have our first lead of the day. Thankfully, they went cover zero. We'll kick an extra point. I had to take him over on that one. I think he overthrew it a little bit. So I had to control the receiver to give us a chance. So now we're up four. Let's get back on defense. Our defense is playing great. Let's keep it up. That last fumble helped. As we all know by now, then this dynasty is a perfect example. Turnovers are everything in football. There we go. Somebody get tackled. There we go. We'll go cover two man again. Do something like this. Fullback dive. Somebody stop it. Pick up four. I'm going to stay in man again. I just have a feeling they're going to run the ball. Tight 
Toss. Good tackle there by 58. So it's third and something. Third and three, but they're going with a really big set. I guess I'll do the same thing and just stay in man. Do something like this. I'll stay back a little bit. My guess is they'll go play action. Yep, play action. Ah, he still got a... Wow, great play. I knew exactly who they was going to. I couldn't get over there quick enough. First and ten. Let's do quarters and see what happens. So their tight end is really good. They're doing a good job of giving him the ball. Somebody get a stop. So I'm not even blitzing the guy. He's just running away from from it several times. Looks like they're going with a big set. Basic run. Pick up a first down. So they're slowly driving. I'm going to go cover two man. I almost went quarters, but let's go with man. Do something like this. Somebody almost got to him. I'm guessing it was right. Second and ten. We'll go quarters. We'll do an over front. Don't run to the left. Play action again. Wide open. Wow, just wide open over there. How in the world did he get wide open? He went with a, hmm, just a good play. And they're out of what? Strong twins? Mental note. We'll go back to man. Do something like this. Screen. Ooh, went to the other guy beside the screen. Super rare for him to do that. Still get the first down. Maybe we can stop him again. Play action. Oh my gosh, Al. Almost intercepted. That would have been beautiful. Ah. Second and goal. We'll stay in man. Do something like this. Again. Almost intercepted again. Keep throwing it. Fine by me. From the six. Oh, gosh. What do we do here? I think they're going to throw it. We're going to do a spy on the right side. Do something like this. Touchdown. Just wide open. Surprisingly, I wasn't expecting that. So, they now have the lead again. Oh, he almost got sacked. So we're fixing to go down a field goal. Two minutes and 17 seconds. I'd love to be able to chew their, all that up. Get a score and go into half. We'll get the ball back and try to do that. I think I may go to a pass play first thing. Let's see what they go with. We'll do more play action. Let's see if Wright can do something. There's no blocking right there, but that's okay. So we're on the right hash. We can go over here, go PA boot. We're going zone. What I want to try to do, we're going to have that square, that tight end block. Cover two. Terrible throw. Awful. He's supposed to throw it over here. About like right here, and he throws it towards the fullback, the free safety. Or the strong safety, I should say. 
Just a bad throw. Very fortunate that wasn't intercepted. We probably need to run some clock. So let's go option or toss play. They're going zone. Dime. This may not work all that well. It's nothing. Fumble. And just like that, this game has changed. Turnover. Fumble, fumble, fumble. I'll try not to get upset. It is what it is. So let's get back on defense. I was hoping to run some clock there, but when your running back fumbles it, then there's nothing you can do about it. Play action again. Fumble! Another one, but they get the ball back. Let's go man, nickel. I probably need to be going zone on this one. Yeah, no, they're going to run. Get a stop. Good play. So it's third and long. Let that clock roll some more. We'll go cloud. Last time we called this, they scored a touchdown. I hate to only be rushing three. But I don't want that guy just to be running around on us. Ooh. Terrible throw. So are they going to kick a field goal? They're going to attempt a field goal. They got the, the kicker to do it. We'll go field goal safe, man. I'm assuming they're not going to fake this. But we'll play it safe just in case. Plenty. Perfect kick. Well, let's try not to turn the ball over again. I'd love to be able to go down the field and score before half, but there are no promises. Let's see if Ryan can do something on this one. Yeah. Decent gain, but it's coming back. Too good to be true. On the 12, and we're on the right hash. Oh, let me think. Let's go... Let's go back down here. Let's go halfback angle. If they're going man, we'll go to somebody on the left and hope for the best. A Roland, he is... Right tackle. False start. We're not helping ourselves. So I think it's probably in our best interest to just run the ball. I'm, I'm going to give up on this drive. As you can tell, our offense just isn't good enough to consistently go down the field. So let's just run the ball. And maybe we can chew up clock and, and hope they don't score again on us. We'll go to the right. Good block there. Get a first down. And we got out of bounds. Oh, it's second and one. Oh, come on. Well, if that's the case. I'm going to give Drummer one more chance. We'll go full back over. And this may not work at all. The clock has stopped. Enough to get the first. I'm going to keep running clock. I just don't think we're good enough to get, to get the touch to go down the field and score. We could try halfback direct. They're going man dime. We'll do something like this. I can go ahead and snap it. We may get lucky here. Get a first down, and the clock has stopped. Now we can start thinking about going down the field a little bit. So we can try that. Let's go PA Reed. We're going zone. We'll just bounce this to Drummer. Terrible throw. How can you make a terrible throw on a PE read? You can there, apparently. We're going man on this one. Ah, dang it, Al. Oh my gosh, we got something out of that. I'm going to let that clock run some more. I 
at this point, I don't think we'll be able to... Let's see what they call here. They're going man. Okay, I may rush on this one. Man, nickel. Get a first down. 24 seconds. Uh, we can start thinking about... Oh, I don't know what to call here. Let's go... Uh, Trying to think of ways to get to the sideline. It's first and ten. We're well, going to go halfback angle. We're flipping it. Schneider comes to the line with three wide. Cover one. He's looking. Throws this Good one throw. Out. Call timeout. 35 yard line. Let's go back here to P. Reed. We're going zone. I'm going to try to throw it back to Drummer again. I could probably go, I mean, we can go over the middle, like a cover two, like something like this, or get hit. Just defense. Oh, well, fumble, somebody pick it up. Of course they get it. So what happened is, I got hit when I threw it. It just, protection. Oh, well, all for naught. So let's try to survive this 10 seconds, and we'll get the ball back in the third. He was wide open, too, but... Oh, oh, well. That's a face mask. Dang it. Come on, people. How many tur or flags we're going to have today? Converts it to... That's a first and one. We're calling a timeout. We'll go man-nickel. I mean, it's still possible for them to try to do something goofy here. We're going to pass it. Good open field tackle. So now it's one second. So we're going to go back to nickel man. I don't have the talent to do dime. We're going to do something like this. Hopefully somebody can get after the quarterback. He'll probably throw in my direction. Please don't. And he drops it. So we're down six at halftime. I thought we had a chance to maybe get something towards the end, but when you get hit and force an interception, then, you know, turnovers are hurting us right now. So not a whole lot to see here. I mean, we're staying alive with it. I mean, we're only down six. The biggest thing is, like I said, two turnovers really cost us. Five fumbles already. Only one, two of them were for loss, but still. I mean... If I knew, if I, I feel like I'm playing 07 at times with that many fumbles, that's two games in a row, just one fumble after another. I'm not going to look at the individual stats. There's nothing to see there, so let's just keep playing. Miami will be kicking off to start the second half. Maybe we can score a touchdown here. Try not to turn the ball over. We'll go here. We'll take a knee. We'll try deep cross up for the first time. Unfortunately, we're going to the right, but and they got all their best players on that side. But I got some time to throw. Good catch by Tally. Get a first down there. And what I want to do, I'm going to try PA boot again. Last time it was an awful throw. But what I can do is I'm going to do something like this. This may not help at all. Ooh, I need to bring him back. I'll do something like this. Cover two. Terrible throw. Dang it. Awful throw. He just shot it big time. Another and a face mask. Well, this game's over. <laughs> I can already tell. My quarterback just can't make any decent throw. He just overshot it big time. And he's my best player on offense. So you know you're hurting when you're best player is just not even playing well that's our eighth penalty on the day or however many we have I don't know it's more bad football and they're gonna call direct good open field tackle go quarters turnovers I don't know but what do you do you know 
Just a bad throw by that quarterback. He's not throwing it to the sideline at all. He needs to. Good play to the tight ends. Now it's third and respectable. Third and three. I mean, we'll go cloud, but... We need to break the girl away. Everything's kind of going their way at the moment. Run up the middle. Wow, here at touchdown. Well, this pretty much sums up this last two minutes or minute and a half, however long this quarter's been. That pretty much sums up the way things have been going today. So I'll try my best not to get killed. But I can't help it if, you know, we turn the ball over all the time. I don't know how to prevent that other than quit throwing. <laughs> And hope we don't have fumbles on the ground. I'll quit making that, calling that PA rollout because apparently my quarterback can't handle that deep ball. It's just too much for him, I guess. I don't know. Just disappointing, but nothing you can do about it. You're just stuck with bad talent. Going in the end zone there. We'll try deep cross up again. He can make that throw. He's done a decent job with it. Terrible throw. Yeah, it was off his back foot. That's not really his fault. We got pressured. Almost got sagged, so I had, you know, nothing I could do about that. Let's try direct again. If they call him direct, I'm going to call direct. Of course, they're going to blitz. This ain't going to work. Dang it. The only way that worked is we was able to juke around the guy. So we got the first down. I want to go back. Uh, let's try another run play. Let's go toss. Zone dime. This probably isn't going to work. I'm afraid to go up the gut because they got like the best defensive tackle in the country. We're going to run clock. I have no reason to hurry things up. I know we're down two scores, but let's be honest. I don't. Don't think hurrying things up is going to make a huge difference in this one. Good block there. Just get the first down. Face mask, but he got out of bounds beforehand. We can stay here and go back to halfback angle. We're going man. We'll try to go to somebody on the left as long as somebody can block for us. Cover one. Overshot it. Nothing you can do about it. It's just a bad throw. Again, our quarterback's just playing awful today. Even the one touchdown he had was a bad throw. I had to take the receiver over. And they're doing that, so this isn't going to work. Let's go over here. Got decent yardage. Seven yard run, third and three. Go tight end delay. We're going man 4 3. I'm going to go to Drummer on this one. He can't hear that. That's okay. I think we can get by without that. We're going to move Adams over. So, Drummer, hopefully, that impact linebacker ain't going to be on him on this one. Pick up a first down here. Just don't fumble. Face mask. Call it. Good play there. Let's do a halfback blast. Let's try something up the middle. Of course, they're going man, so this may not work. Let's go to the left, I guess. Clock is stopped. Fumble. <laughs> Fumble number 12 on the day, or however many there are. I don't know. It's getting to get kind of ridiculous at this point. So it's second and forever. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to run it again. I just don't trust our passing game right now. The clock is going. I'm going to let it do so. Unfortunately, they're going zone. I kind of hope we... I may force myself to be in the middle of the field on this one. Let's see. Let go ahead and snap it here. Perfect. Don't fumble it. Please don't. Nobody blocked him. We're not in the middle of the field. We'll try a deep cross up. And they're going man. So this probably won't work. I don't trust my quarterback making this throw. 
I may call a timeout. I probably should have ran clock on that one too. That was my fault. That's okay. We'll try deep cross up again. We're not exactly in the middle of the field, but maybe we can make this work. High snap does not help things whatsoever. Good throw, though. By far his best throw of the day. Man. Great play. Let's try slam with Boyle. Keeping us alive somehow, some way. We're going to run to the right. Let that clock roll some. Ended up being a good timeout called right there. I don't think he would have converted a, that against man. Good blocking. Every, just don't fumble it. At least we get the run more clock. Let's go full back over. I know they're going goal line. If we can just get decent protection, I think we're going to be okay. Decent blocking, I mean. And I think they are going zone. So we're going to leave that receiver over there. Touchdown. Somehow we're staying in it. I could have swore that last turnover would have done us in. But here we are. We're down a touchdown. We're going to go down six with an extra point. Man, if we didn't have all these turnovers, we'd be winning. Please make that. That was close. We took off over three minutes. 11 plays, 84 yards. Let's get back on defense. This is going in the corner. Thankfully, that's a touchback. Ooh, he tried to go for that. Take a knee, son. You better be smart. <laughs> All right, let's go back to man. Do something like this. Play action. Good throw. Ah, dang it, Al. I completely botched that one. That's 100% on me. The corner didn't keep up with him, but that's still. I should have made that tackle. We're going with the big set. We'll go back to man. Back to the passing game. Huge play by our best player overall. Just don't fumble it. Allie. Wow, what a stud. Impact players making plays out there. That's big. Now, normally I'd go play action here, but I don't trust our quarterback making that throw again. So let's pick something else. Let's just run the ball. Hey, just another turnover fest. I hate seeing these types of games. That's two in a row. They're going cover zero. Get a block. Ah, just don't fumble it. Perfect defense. That is the end of the third quarter. I'll pick a play, but we're not going to have time to call it. 20 to 14. Let's see if we can play good enough to at least not get killed. Maybe we can win. Let's go tight end post. We're going zone. We'll do something like this. I, I, that was, I guess that's my fault. I just, but somebody came right on. I should have threw it right there, and I didn't. I was so focused on the middle of the field. So it's third and for forever. Let's just run the ball. I'm not going to do anything goofy here and try to go for it. <laughs> we'll do something like this. We're going to let that clock roll. We'll just punt it. Our passing game is just not good enough to convert this. Just nothing there. So we'll punt it. 
trying to eat more clock and then we'll get back on defense I, I hate it for tally he made a great play and i just didn't do anything to help him on that one i hope i don't mess up on this one i like to kick it towards the sideline so hester doesn't have much room to work with this is going at least it's going to go out of bounds that's not terrible but it, it could be better they got amazing field position. Let's see if we can get another stop. Play action again. Six points, just like that. Two broken tackles, nothing you can do about it. He's not even an impact player, but just... Broken tackle, broken tackle. It is what it is. So let's go goal line. They're going to go for the two point conversion to go up two scores, or 14, I should say. Miami lines up in a goal line set. So now we're going to have to pass a bunch of, up until this point. That's a good stop. Unfortunately, are we good enough on offense to get back in this thing? And I don't know if we are. We're just struggling so badly, especially in the passing game. It's just bad. I wasn't really expecting our run game to dominate, but get a block. I just get up there, get to him. So we need to start throwing. Let's go tight at fade delay zone. Especially if we're going to zone us today. If our passing game is not good enough, just to attack it. Didn't even get a yard. All for nothing. Second and nine. Let's go halfback angle. Cover one. At least he caught it. So it's third and something. Third and two. And I can try to hurry this up. Tight in delay. 4-3. We'll do something like this. Just get the first down. Let's just get out of fumble. Yeah, I'm about to uh, about lost it right there. Another fumble. Let's go P.A. Ray. We're going man nickel. We're doing that. I think I may run it with Boyle. Like her situation here. Get about seven yards, eight yards there. He's about gassed. Let's try P. Reed from here. They're going man dime. I may run it again. Do something like this. Just get the yards, get the first. Boyle is still a bit gassed. Let's go tight in delay again. Gun normal. Fourth gun normal. Four three normal, I should say. He can't hear that, so this could get interesting. Just awful throw. Poor Schneider. I've never had an impact quarter. Look at this is what gets me. The kid is like an 80 overall. That's that's respectable. But I've never seen a quarterback make so many bad throws in the dynasty, him being that talented, supposedly talented. Let's go back to PA Reed. We're going man four three. Cover zero. Please can we go over the top here? Looks like a decent throw, and he drops it. Oh, well, that's just, that sums up our team. We're just not there to win games like, I mean, we've done it a couple times already, but nothing you can do about that. Just, just another bad play. Third and 10. I prefer they go zone, but we're going to go cover one. 
Good play by the tight end. I didn't mean to spin, but we got a first down. By far, maybe Schneider's best throw of the day. Let's go back to P.E. Reed. Zone dime. We'll probably leave it as he is. How can you? That's two dropped or two bad throws on a P.E. Reed. I don't understand how that can happen. I just don't understand it. I've never seen a quarterback not be able to complete that throw. Yeah, for some reason, this quarterback can't. Let's go, drummer. Get a first down. Well, they're not making it easy on us. Let's go down here. I'm going to put our receivers back in. Let's go halfback angle. We're going zone on this one. Terrible throw. He had to come back for it. Didn't get much out of that one. And he is gas. Drummer is out of it. Let's go back to direct. Zone nickel. Please don't hurry up. Let's get to the line. Come on. Good block. There. Well, I say it was a good block, but it wasn't. Didn't even get out of bounds. I know. I feel like I'm forgetting a play. I probably need in this situation. Now we got so many starters out. Like we got a bunch of them out, and that guy can't hear that. Let's just hurry up to the line. Come on. Good throw. Good job, Schneider. Get a first down. We're on the 11. I want to go here. Is it this play? It's curl flats. We're going zone. This is going to go to our fullback. I'm rough. Let's just bring him down, make it a little bit easier on us. And he drops it. Second and ten. Let's go halfback option. We're going man, so we may have a chance on this one. Maybe. We'll go over here. Got some yards, but not what we need. Third and three. This may be really dumb. We're out of, like, we're just out of bodies. We got so many backups in there now. They're going man down. We're going to... Ah, dang it. Thank God. It's not what I meant to do. Al, jeez. Fourth and six. Well, this is the ball game. I'm going to run it. I don't. Let's just go full back over. And we're going zone. So this isn't going to work. We're going zone dime. I got to call another timeout. It's just not going to work. Unless we got super lucky. We're going to call the same play. So there goes all of our timeouts. We may have a chance here. I just don't trust our passing game to get in the end zone. If it was third down, I may have would have. And we're going to get caught, aren't we? Touchdown, just enough. Ha <laughs> barely. So we're, uh, let's just kick the extra point. Now we got an onside kick. If we don't get the onside kick, then the game's over with, of course, but. So let's onside kick it and hope for the best. I don't mind using those timeouts like I did. That zone, going up against zone like that, I just don't think it would have worked. We got the touchdown we needed. But we need a big play right here. Let's see if we can do it. Too far. Somebody get it. Somebody get it. Somebody get it. Well, it was worth the shot. I tried. So I'm not upset about this game. We At least it wasn't a complete drubbing, which it probably should have been, going up against the team we're facing. I should let them score, try to get the ball back again, but I don't think it matters at this point. 
this is the most normal loss we've had so far. <laughs> and it's not even close. Next up, I don't know who we have. Georgia Tech, maybe. I, I'm not really sure. We'll check it at the end of the game. They're going three wide, but they're going to run it. I mean, the game is over with. I mean, unless they throw it and incomplete and have an incompletion, then yes, the game is over with. So they're going to run it. They would be stupid to throw it. And perfect defense. Yeah, just good play. Good blocking. Okay, so we lost by five. I'm perfectly fine with that. We probably could have won if we didn't have so many turnovers. We ended up with, what, four? You can't win ball games with four turnovers. It's just hard. Unless you're super talented and you can overcome that. But we can't. We're not there yet. And just like that, that makes us, what, three and three on the season? Yep, three and three. I'm hoping we can get to a bowl game. That'd be nice. It's going to be tough. So, 304 to 325. Our run game just didn't do a whole lot. I wasn't expecting it to. Not against that front seven. Our passing game, just it is what it is. It's a struggle. Both teams done really well on third down. But it's the turnovers. We had three. There were seven total fumbles today. Only two of them were lost, but, but still. That's two games in a row where it's just super high, and it doesn't need to be like that. If that happens three games in a row, then I've been playing NCAA 06 for way too long to know that it, this isn't a concern of mine, but you hate to see something like this. Uh, I want to go back and look at penalties. We had four of them for 36 yards. That did not help at all. Individual stats, there's not a lot to look at here. Schneider had two interceptions, one touchdown. I tried to keep it as safe as I could with him, but our best offensive player is not helping us a whole lot right now. Boyle, Drummer, Dargan, just nothing went great here. Drummer got the two touchdowns. Bull had the yards, and Dargan, again, just didn't get anything going in the run game. Don't know why. It just it just worked out that way. Receiving, not a lot to see here. Elliott got a touchdown, but he didn't get a whole lot on the yards. Um, Tally ended up with most yards, but a lot of that was just off two deep cross-up plays. And look at this. As much as we run the ball, we only had one guy get a pancake compared to... 15, 13, 12, 7, 5, 4. That's always been an issue in these games. It's not just 06. It's a lot of them. When you have, when we run the ball as much as they do and we got that big of a discrepancy, it's kind of goofy. But I typically ignore it. It doesn't really affect too much of the game. Defensive wise, Dwight or DeAndre White led in tackles. Nichols led in tackles for loss. Ta sacks, Nichols again. And we got an interception by Tally. All right, let's get out of here. Let's check out some top 25 scores for the week. Of course, we got beat by Miami. NC State over Georgia Tech. Bowling Green over Ohio. Arizona over USC. Oklahoma over Texas. Texas Tech over Nebraska. Florida State over Wake Forest. Boston College over Virginia. A lot of ranked teams in our conference. Tennessee over Georgia. Minnesota upsets Michigan. Louisville over North Carolina. Toledo over Eastern Michigan. Florida barely beats Mississippi State. Texas A&M over Colorado. Ohio State over Penn State. And last but not least, Iowa over Purdue. So come on back in our next game. We will host Georgia Tech. We're going to have at least one guy come in to visit. Hopefully we can pull off an upset here. As you could tell, they got a lot more talent than... We do, but they're struggling this season for whatever reason. You look at their stats, it all looks pretty decent outside of their rushing attack. They got Calvin Johnson on their team, so I'm guessing they're going to throw a little bit, but their starting quarterback can also run some, if I'm not mistaken. So it's going to be a challenge anyways, but hopefully we can convince that kid enough to come and commit because we need better players, obviously. All right, come on back. We'll take on Georgia Tech, and I will talk to you later.